Once upon a dark and stormy night, I found myself in my cozy old house, completely alone. The wind howled outside, rattling the windows and stirring an eerie sense of isolation within me. Little did I know, this night would be far from ordinary. As the clock struck midnight, strange noises began to echo throughout the house. Creaks and whispers seemed to emanate from every corner, sending shivers down my spine. I attempted to brush it off, convincing myself that it was simply a result of the old house settling. But deep down, I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Nervously, I moved from room to room, checking each window and locking every door, hoping to quiet my unease. However, as I reached the top of the stairs, a chilling breeze swept past me, causing the hairs on the back of my neck to stand on end. The temperature dropped suddenly, sending a chill down my spine. I made my way to the living room, hoping to find solace in the warm glow of the fireplace. But as I entered the room, my heart skipped a beat. The once crackling fire had transformed into a flickering abyss, casting unsettling shadows across the walls. I closed my eyes, trying to regain composure, only to find that when I opened them again, the room was transformed into an eerie, twisted version of itself. The furniture contorted into grotesque shapes, pictures on the wall turned into haunting portraits, and the walls seemed to close in on me. Panic surged through my veins, making it difficult to breathe. With every step I took, the floor seemed to shift beneath me, sending me further into this waking nightmare. As my fear grew, so did the intensity of the supernatural occurrences. Objects flew across the room, shattering against the walls with a bone-chilling crash. Ghostly whispers echoed in my ears, growing louder with each passing moment. I attempted to escape, but every door I ran towards sealed itself shut before I could reach it. With nowhere to run and no one to turn to, I found myself trapped in this house of horrors. The supernatural forces that once lurked in the shadows now materialized into terrifying figures that leered at me from every dark corner. They reached for me with long, gnarled fingers, their eyes filled with malevolence. Hours turned into an eternity as the night dragged on, my heart racing with terror. Just as I thought I couldn't bear it any longer, the clock struck 6 a.m. The haunting presence abruptly vanished, and the house returned to its moon day.